Hey guys, welcome back to the barbecue patio. So it is the weekend and I wanna do some barbecue and I wanna do my very first beef shank. Uh, I don't know why I've never done one of these, but you know, it's become a really popular uh, secondary cut of meat that um, you see a lot out there on the, in the barbecue world now. So I thought I would pick one up and give it a try. So when I was down at my local butcher the other day, I had uh, picked up some steaks for the family barbecue that we had and I decided I wanted to go ahead and get a beef shank and try. So that's what I did. I, I picked that up from the butcher shop. And there, there are a lot of good videos out on YouTube on uh, folks that have already done beef shank. My buddy, Russ Jones over at Smoky Ribs Barbecue, he's got a good video on it. Uh, Jesse Pryles, uh, Hardcore Carnivore, she's got a good video on it. There's, there's a lot of, of them out there. And it seems like uh, the most popular way to cook a beef shank is the smoke and braise method meaning give it two or three hours of some good smoke and then put it in a pan, wrap it up however you want to with, the, your, with your juice and let it braise for a while. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I wanna use our Lone Star Grills offset smoker and we're gonna get that fired up. We're gonna use that to smoke the beef and then once I feel it's ready to pull and put it in our pan, we'll probably uh, move down to one of our other grills. We might use the Kamado today to do our braising. So I know it's gonna be a delicious cut of beef. Every time I watch other people's videos on this, it, it just looks like a uh, beautiful piece of beef that's gonna get very tender and make uh, a great sandwich or great tacos or just straight off the bone. It lo it'll look good too. So I'm excited to get started on this. I will be by myself today. Abby's gonna go and spend some time with her family today and tomorrow. So it is the weekend. I wanted to come out here and uh, cook some bar uh, barbecue, get the, the smoker fired up. I got some other little projects I wanna do around the, uh, the property here while, while this is going. So uh, I'll get the uh, beef shank out and show you what this looks like and I'm gonna start working on getting the smoker fired up, okay? So here's a look at our beef shank that we picked up from the butcher shop here in Pensacola. It looks like a beautiful piece of meat. This is the leg bone or the shin bone for those that aren't uh, familiar with that. So because of that, it is a, a very tough piece of beef and that's why you have to really render this guy down and cook it for a long period of time like a, like a brisket and get those uh, muscle fibers and tissues in there broken down and softened up. It looks like we're not gonna have to do a lot of trimming on this. I think they've got it pretty well prepped and uh, ready to go. So we'll get the uh, smoker going and then once we're ready, we'll pull this guy out and uh, season it. I've made some uh, homemade SPG and that's just what we're gonna use today, salt, pepper, garlic. And I am excited to get started on this guy. So we are gonna be using our Lone Star Grills offset smoker today. I haven't done a smoke in this for a little while so I'm ready to get something cooking in it again. Getting ready to um, build us a fire. So what we're doing is that we're gonna start with a, lo a large charcoal chimney full of some uh, lump charcoal. And then I have all my uh, pecan smoke wood out there. I'm gonna start grabbing some of that and uh, getting us some ready to go in the firebox. Getting this a nice hot fire, a nice hot coal bed go in there. And I've also added some water to the bottom of the uh, smoke chamber here. So I'm gonna use some salt and pepper garlic that I mixed up myself. I've also got a little bit of onion powder in there as well. So that's what we're gonna use for our first beef shank. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, nice rub blends that would be excellent on this, but we're gonna start with the basics first. I'm gonna put just a little bit of oil on it just to help as a binder for the uh, rub. And we'll coat it down uh, pretty generously with our salt, pepper, and garlic. It's already smelling good now. Got the rub out. I can smell the pecan wood over there smoking in the, in the pit. This is gonna be good.
All right, I think that's pretty good right about there. Just about ready to go into the smoker. All right, I think it's time to get it on the smoker here. We're gonna try to maintain a temperature somewhere around the 300 range there. I think I'm just gonna go right, right in the middle, just like that. That's gonna look nice. I'm not going to worry about probing this. <clears throat> We're going to check on it periodically and just let it go for, I don't know, two to three hours and let it get some smoke. And what I've seen other folks do is get it somewhere maybe around 160 degrees after two or three hours of uh, giving a nice uh, smoke to it. Then we'll pull it and put it in our brazing pan at that point. All right, we'll, uh, we'll bring you back and show you how it's turning out. We've been running two hours on our offset. Let's go ahead and give it a look and see how it is. And I think at this point, we're gonna go ahead and start prepping our uh, roasting pan for our braising. Let's take a look. There it is, it's looking good. Starting to pull away from that bone nicely. And it'll continue to pull away as we uh, do our brace, uh, braising process there. So everything is looking good. I'll take a look at the fire. What I've been doing, I'm just gonna kinda let this, um, I'm not gonna put any more fuel in there, but you can see how we're, how we're looking there. I'm gonna go ahead and just start prepping our roasting pan, and then we'll uh, go from here over to that. So what I decided to do, we're gonna use our Kamado Joe to, uh, for our braising. I've got the Billows fan hooked up, I've got this set at uh, 350 degrees. So we will just set our roasting pan in there and uh, use this to do our slow braise for the rest of the day. All right, guys, here's our smoked beef shank. Just pulled it off the offset smoker. We're gonna go, get, we're gonna go ahead and, and prepare this uh, for our braising. Okay, so I've got a, um, an oval roasting pan right here. This is the first time that I'll be using this pan. I bought this from an antique store in uh, Canyon City, Colorado. And I was looking for like the savory roaster, which is this style, All, only this one doesn't say savory on it, so maybe a different brand, but it's the same type. It's supposed to be such a great pan for roasting. So we're gonna use that. We're gonna go ahead and set this guy down inside there. All right, now there's probably you know hundreds of combinations on how you can actually fix this for braising and what i'm going to do is we have some chopped onions here we have some garlic i have some guinness draught and we also have some beef stock all right so we're going to begin with our beef stock and i'm going to add at least one of those beers in there and i'll probably just go ahead and pour this whole thing inside here All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dump some onions in there. This is uh, three small onions chopped. I would have liked some big carrots in here, but I didn't have any carrots, so we're just not gonna worry about that. But I do love these uh, fresh peeled garlic. So I'm gonna put a few of these because I'm gonna really enjoy eating those with the beef. So put a few of those in there. All right. And let's go ahead and add us some uh, Guinness. 
I've had a six pack of these in the fridge that I've been kind of waiting for the right opportunity and I think this is the perfect time to make use of our Guinness draught. Yep, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use two of them. Just like that, right there. All right. Okay, we're gonna go set it on the Kamado now. Our Kamado has been holding steadily right around 350 using the billows. I think we are ready to go. Let me uh, grab the roast. All right, let's set her on here, right in the center. Close it up. All right, and we're gonna begin our cook. I wanted to point out though that I did end up smoking the um, the beef shank for one extra hour because I wanted to probe it right around 160 degrees. So we needed a little extra time on that. So we ended up smoking for a total of three hours and we're just gonna go on this several hours today until we get a uh, super really tender cut of meat there. Alrighty guys, so we've been running almost six and a half hours total on our uh, cook so far. And I wanted to mention that I did actually uh, tone the heat down to a 325 instead of the 350. So we have been running at 325 for the, for the past few hours. So let's go ahead and take a look at a roast and see how it's doing. Oh yeah, look at that. Man, that looks awesome. I'm gonna use my probe and I wanna check the meat just to kinda check how tender it is. And it looks like it's going in there great. Look at that. They just pushed right down through there. Looks like we're right around 212. So it's nice and tender. I think it's probably to the point where we could probably go ahead and pull it. It's probably about ready. I think since I'm not in a big hurry, I'm gonna let it go for just a little bit longer. Um, and I got me a piece of corn. There's some uh, sweet corn my sister gave me and I wrapped it up with some butter and some seasoning and salt. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in here and um, cook this in for a little bit to kind of go with this later on, okay? So we'll, uh, we'll bring you guys back whenever I pull this thing, you know, and pull it and shred it and uh, you know, do it like a taste test on it. All right, guys, I've been letting this rest for like an hour now, so I'm ready to go ahead and get it and uh, let's get it pulled. I gotta be kind of quick about this because the flies are starting to get bad now. We are uh, in the summertime, so as soon as they smell some food, they come flying for miles away. But look at that, man. Look at that. That is awesome. So my plan is to just go ahead and pull it off the bone, just like that right there. We're going to leave those pieces on there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cover this up. I need to grab me a couple of uh, napkins. So what I want to do, watching the, uh, the other folks do this, they just kind of shred it up. And there's going to be some cartilage in here. It is still extremely hot, too, after resting for a full hour. But, I mean, look how, look how tender that is right there. It is just fall apart, tender. See the flies are coming in. So I'm just gonna shred this up, just like you would like pulled pork. We wanna pull it and shred it, and uh, we wanna separate any of the like cartilage that might be in these, in these uh, muscles here and remove those from the beef. So I'm gonna work on that. There's, it's still really hot, but um, let me go ahead and get this shredded up good. I wasn't prepared and did not bring my uh, forks or my bear paws is what I need so I can shred this guy up. Man, this is awesome. It, it is very similar to a uh, pulled pork or a Boston uh, butt pork roast. 
whenever you smoke one of those and you go to pull it and shred it, it's just like that. It has that same consistency to it, except we're dealing with beef here. All right, so this is the piece right here. I'm not sure. I think this, that's going to be some of that cartilage that needs, needs to go. There's a piece of it right there. So that's what you're wanting to try to remove from your finished product there. There's another piece of it right there. I'm just setting it in this pan. For now, what I want to do is add a little bit of that broth into the beef as well. Man, it's still so hot. It's finally cooling down enough where I can kind of work it with my hands though. Turned out to be a very good, successful first beef shank cook, I hope. I'm ready to give this a taste test. All right, so I've been sitting here getting this uh, nicely shredded. I want to go ahead and uh, give this a taste test and see. So let's just grab a piece out of there. Delicious. Definitely got that smoke on it. The rub is good. It's good. Try another bite. Mmm, that is good. I'm gonna take a little bit of the broth from the roasting pan and pour a little bit of that in there, kind of mix it in. I also wanna take a little bit more of my rub and put a little bit of that in there and kind of mix it all up and uh, add a little bit more of that seasoning flavor into the, to the meat there. I'm gonna put a little bit more of my seasoning in here. This is just salt, pepper, garlic, a little bit of onion. And then I've got a ladle here. I'm gonna spoon some of this broth in here with it. Add some of those onions and some of that garlic. Yeah, it's gonna be good. And I'm just gonna kind of mix it all up together. All right, so this is how I'm gonna do this for my, uh, for my sample. We're taking a flour tortilla. I've got some of the onions, a couple pieces of garlic out of the pot. And all I wanna do, I'm just gonna make me a very simple taco out of this. I'm not worried about any other toppings for it. It's just a good way to enjoy this shredded beef right here. And I know it's gonna be good. Just like that right there. Man, it looks so good. I'm gonna take some of these onions on here. How about that garlic? See how it just, you just mash it in there? That right there, that's how we're gonna try it. Just like that right there. It's a little fat, but we're gonna give this a shot right here. All right, here we go. Here's our beef shake. Taco. Man, that is so good. I mean, that is like, that is a high quality beef roast right there. That is what that tastes like, a high quality beef roast. Lots of flavor, I love the smoke on it. I love those onions, you know, we, we made the, we made the uh, braise with the, um, with the Guinness and you can just taste all of the flavors working together. Mm, mm -mm. All right guys, well that's gonna wrap up this video right here. The, uh, the beef shank was a success. It is a delicious cut of beef. You gotta try that. I think the technique where you smoke it and you braise it is an excellent technique there. If you don't have a smoker, don't worry about it. You can set that in a pot and braise it in your oven if you want to, you know, until it gets tender just like we had it. But uh, anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed. Uh, I had fun sharing this with you. I had fun cooking this today. And uh, that, is, that is something I'm definitely gonna do again. I'd like to try it with some different variations of rub and uh, other techniques on braising it, some other ingredients there. But this is great right here. I mean, there ain't, there ain't nothing wrong with this right there. I got my piece of corn that I, that I cooked as well. And I'm gonna enjoy me some, um, some beef shank tonight for dinner. 
We'll see you guys later.